What's up, everybody? This is Lenny Kaiser, and today I am going to show you a couple of features that you may not know about in Ableton that you should. Feature number one, simpler to sampler. Right-click on the title bar. If you ever want to change your simpler device to a sampler to access some of the sampler features, click that. Tip number two, interpolation in the sampler. This is going to control how accurate the sample is when it's transposed up the keyboard. So if you're doing a lot of pitch transposing from the original sample, you might want to set this at a higher setting. Next one is in EQ3. If we control click on the title bar, we see this option for flat response. So EQ3 defaults to it not having a flat response and it acts more like a DJ style mixer that colors the sound a little bit. Next we have EQ8 which has an option for oversampling. Oversampling processes audio at double the sample rate of whatever our current session is set at. And this is done to have a smoother filter behavior, especially at higher frequencies. So it's gonna sound a little bit better when boosting or cutting high frequencies. And next we have our reverb, which we have three quality settings here, eco, medium, and high. As always, the higher quality settings are gonna tax your CPU a little bit more. So I hope you found this helpful and see you next time.